Hi guys, Pet here. All right, so tonight I'm going to be canning lasagna soup stew. Kind of a stoop, if you will. Um, I've made lasagna before in the oven. I've made lasagna in the crock pot and like a just a quick and easy, super awesome lasagna crock pot meal. And I've made lasagna soup. And when I've canned the lasagna soup in the past, it turns out just a little bit too liquidy for me. So what I did is I took my two favorite recipes, the crock pot lasagna and the lasagna soup recipes, and I made my own recipe. And I'm gonna show you tonight, on New Year's Eve, how I go about doing that. And it's gonna turn out super awesome, and I hope you try this recipe at home because, wow. It's just going to be delicious. So what you see me making is probably going to turn out at the very end way different than the recipe that I'm showing you because I'm going to taste test it as I go because I'm making it up as I go. So stay tuned. I'll be back when I uh, throw everything together. I'm so excited about this. Here I've got five pounds of lean ground beef that I already browned. And what I'm gonna add next is two large uh, onions that I diced up. And it, I figured in my calculations, um, 17 and a half cups of crushed uh, tomatoes and I'm gonna add eight cups to begin with and then see how it goes because I may wanna add some chicken broth to this instead of more tomatoes to make it a little bit less thick because I'm gonna be canning it. We'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, so after the tomatoes, I'm going to add one to two cans of tomato paste and I'm gonna start out with one and also see the, how this goes. Like I said, I'm making this up as I go. But it's gonna be delicious because the lasagna soup that I made before was absolutely to die for. So after the tomato paste, I'm gonna add my spices. And so what I've got here is I've got three quarters of a tablespoon of red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, I've got five cloves of garlic minced up and one and a half uh, tablespoons of oregano. And so I'm just gonna add this to the mix. And stir it all together and get it cooking. I am definitely gonna have to add another, um, at least, eight cups of tomatoes and probably some chicken broth and I will let you know exactly how much I ended up with at the very end of this. Um, I'm gonna get this cooking and then I'm gonna get it in the canning jars and get it canned up. So I ended up with 14 pints of this and um, there was a little bit left over so actually it would probably yield the recipe that I ended up using um, probably yield about 16 and a half and so what I did is I just put that in a mason jar and put it in the fridge and have been eating it like crazy. So I accidentally ate a whole bunch of it and forgot to do the taste test but I may do another taste test at the end of this video and show you, oh my God, it is so good. It's so delicious, you guys have to try this. The lasagna stoop that I made, stew slash soup, uh, turned out to be the perfect consistency. This is gonna be perfect to put over pasta and add your cheese. Uh, great meal, like if, if you come home from work and it's late and you don't have time to prepare anything, all you have to do is heat up some pasta and add the cheese or bring it to work and cook the pasta the night before and bring the cheese with you. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. It's probably one of my favorite recipes that I have ever made and canned. And now I'm gonna eat the crap out of it and 
get sick of it and have to come up with something new. Hmm. Anyhow, I hope you try this and check the description box below for the recipe that I ended up with because it really varies from what I was cooking in the actual video. So I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I haven't done a cooking video for a really long time. I haven't done many videos for a really long time, but it's really good to get back into it. And so I hope you try it. Happy canning! So now for the taste test and what I did is I added the pasta or I cooked the pasta and um, put the sauce in it and added the cheese and all I had on hand was uh, grated Parmesan and um, cheddar and so I added it and it's still going to be delicious. Uh, I know that there's other cheeses that you could use but um, here we go. Oh, you guys have to try this. It's so good. All the dogs want to try it. No, you're not getting any of this. You had dog food tonight. Thanks for watching.